just out having a bit of a walkabout this morning, just seeing who's been moving around last night in terms of wildlife, but the human wildlife as well, unfortunately. And I've just come across a bit of a bit of a hobo camp. So just having a look and see what's been left behind. It's always intriguing to me as a tracker how much people leave debris behind. Thinking it's invisible out here, it's lost. It's never going to be seen again. Not quite true, is it? Well, here's our fire. Tea bag. Bit of a bowl that's been dug out. And this fire has not been returned to a natural state. So it's just been essentially left. Another tea bag here. And this stuff's weeks old. And you can see that by the the size of the fire ash atrophy. So if I take that right down close. So fire ash does a couple of different things. When it's fresh, it's powdery, it's light. The wind disturbed it. You can see another tea bag here. So fire ash will hold its form whilst it's fresh and it's easily disturbed and disrupted. So dew will disrupt it, rainfall obviously, and even the wind. So we can age a fire, and age a camp accordingly based on the fire ash if it's left behind and, and it's not returned or disguised or in other ways interfered with, much like this fire has been. So a whole stack of indicators there tell us an approximate age on this particular fire. So over here you've got partially burnt fuel in terms of a log. A lot of this charcoal ash around the outside gives us indication that the fuel wasn't completely combusted up. You've got animal spore right in the middle here where a wallaby's just bound on through. But the most telling thing for us is that atrophy of the ash. It forms like little stalactites in there. And that tells us that this, that this ash fire has been here for a number of weeks, if not more. Now as a tracker, we don't go around talking about explicits. We don't sit there and go, Tonto, this, how long how old is this fire? Lone Ranger, this fire has been here for four days and four hours. It's not the way tracking works. We don't we don't report information that way, and we don't perceive information that way. It's always in brackets. And in our case, this bracket's going to be you know, one to two weeks, absolute minimum, uh, more likely one to two months, given the nature of that stalactite formation of the ash. So other things around this little hobo camp are over here, the remnants of a collapsed old shelter. And of course here, a bed space. So one person, nice and low, nice and discreet. Someone with tools and someone with a particular lean on neatness. You notice how these rafters are all cut off exact along the length of that central beam. It's propped up, it's low, it's only enough there for one person, so it's someone with a bit of bush savvy, and someone who's not wanting to be particularly noticed. So a lot of information from just a little bit of an old hobo camp. How about that? So just some stuff that I wanted to share with you on my morning track as in checking spore lines and in our case we're checking trap lines this morning. So I'll get back to it and leave you with it. Have a good weekend. Cheers.